you can have a button do multiple things. So in this case, I created a form, and now when somebody fills it out, when they hit the submit button, it's going to ask them to save it. Then it's going to flatten all the fields so that way you can't edit it again, and it will email it as well. So let me show you how I did that. So if we go into the edit form, so I'm going to save it first. Here is the button that I created that I wanted it to do the three things. So if you right click and go to its properties, in the actions, you can see it's doing three things here. So when you click, it's going to save it. Then it's going to run a JavaScript to flatten everything. And then it will email the form. So the first part saving it, you select the action, which is right here, execute a menu item, and then you have to hit add. And here you select save as. So I already did that, so it created that action there. Now I needed to flatten everything. So to create the run JavaScript command, we want to go to run a JavaScript and hit add. And then in here, you want to paste the code. So I actually found this code online. Just, I will post this in the video. Copy the code. This will flatten all of the fields. Paste it in and hit OK. I already did that part. And then to submit or email, we go to submit a form and hit add. Now, by default, it's going to make it an FDF uh, file, which I didn't want. I want it to be a regular PDF. So select the option here. And when you want to email it to somebody, you have to type in mail to colon and then whatever the email address is. So I'm going to cancel there. So those are my three options there. So now after I fill it out, I'm going to close from editing. And then I can type in whatever, and let's say I'm done. Click that button. So it's asking me to save it. I'm going to save it to the desktop. As soon as that's done, it's going to optimize it or flatten it. And now it will automatically try to open up your email provider. So I already did it once, so that's why I didn't ask again. Or it did not ask again. Um, but here you go, and then whatever email you type it to, it'll send it there uh, from your email. And there's the form it's filled out. And uh, when the, whoever you email it to downloads it, they won't be able to.